It's time for you to win by removing some wind. Hey, Power Director Peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love from PowerDirectorUniversity.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove wind from your videos using Power Director 16. So, let's jump off into the software, make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 16. I'm going to show you two ways to remove or reduce the amount of wind noise in your videos. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. Let's get our wind right. I have a video clip on the timeline that is full of a smorgasbord of wind. It's just all winded up. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and press the space bar on my keyboard to play this clip back. And I think you get the picture. It's windy. What I want to do to remove the wind is I'm going to select this clip by left clicking on it with my mouse. And then I'm going to go to fix enhance. And next I'm going to select audio denoise. Now there's different types of ways that you can denoise. There's stationary and that's just like white noise in the background or whatever and you got your wind noise and then we have any clicking noise so we want to select wind noise and it's going to analyze this for us and i want to change the degree up to 100 because there was a lot of wind noise that you heard there so i want to make sure that we get as much of it out as we can Go ahead and play this back again and see what it sounds like now by pressing the space bar on our keyboard. Sounds a lot better. You can still hear it. So let me take this off and play it again. But it is a huge improvement over what it was before. Depending on the amount of wind noise that you have in your videos, this tool could be enough. If it was not as windy as mine, because that was like some powerful wind going on, as you can see. But if your video wasn't as windy, then you might be able to remove all of the wind noise just by using this tool. But if you weren't able to remove all of the wind noise by using this tool, I got a better solution. So I'm going to uncheck this and I'm going to close this. So now that adjustment is no longer on here. So I'll play this back to show you that it's the full amount of wind. Still windy and noisy like it was before. But what I'm going to do now is use a tool called Audio Director to remove the wind totally. So if you have Audio Director, this is a great way to remove the wind. If you don't have Audio Director and this is something that you need for your videos. I have a link to it down in the video description below. So to access audio director, I'm going to left click on this clip to make sure it's selected. Then I'm going to go to edit audio. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to select audio director. So now you can see that the audio from that clip has been brought into audio director. Now, the first thing I need to do is go to the restore tab. And under the restore tab, there's a section called visual repair. So I'm going to click on that. And in the visual repair tool opens up, I'm going to move this down here so I can see the left channel. If you look at this, all of this dark orange down here, this is that wind noise that was going on during the video. So I want to remove this part of the audio and leave everything above it. So I'm going to select the brush tool. And I'm going to change the size of my brush to 23. 
That's how large I want it. And you can see if you place your cursor above the area outside of the little dialog box here, you can see what the size of your brush is gonna be. So I like that at that size. So what I'm gonna do is go here to the beginning. I'm gonna hold down my left mouse and I'm gonna drag this along and try to make sure that I get all of these peaks in here too to get this wind noise out. And that looks pretty good there. So now I wanna see what it sounds like without that wind noise. So I'm gonna click on preview. And all of that wind noise that was there before is gone. So let's see what the original audio sounded like. And once again, the restored result. The wind is gone. So now I like how that sounds, so I'm gonna click on apply. And I have applied that to the audio. So now that I'm done, I'm gonna click on back. And it's gonna save the changes that I made to the audio and the video clip in PowerDirector. That's asking me if I wanna change the save, or if I wanna save the changes I made, I'm gonna click on yes. And now you can e already see the difference in the audio here. So if I were to play this back, no more wind noise. Freaking hate wind noise is gone. All right. So that's how you reduce or remove wind noise using PowerDirector 16 and using audio director you're welcome all right power director peeps i want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end it truly means the world to me and now i want to send a shout out to one of my subscribers bear turned human bear turned human makes animation gaming and reaction videos on their youtube channel so if you're into gaming you want to see some cool animation or you want to see some cray cray reactions head over to the channel Check out a couple of their videos, and if you're feeling what they're dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you subscribe to this channel and you want to get a shout out too, make sure that you head over to the video description and complete the shout out request form. If you want to go ahead and make a tutorial request, head over to the video description and complete our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with all of that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, Click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do that, click on the bell. When you click on the bell, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. And that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.